This will be a two-part series in which we will discuss about Tejas and its different variants, its specifications, its future export possibility and its future with Indian Air Force. With the clearance for the development of the indigenous light combat aircraft LCA Mark II fighter for the Indian Air Force IAF, the Cabinet Committee on Security CCS has reposed its trust in India's defense research and industrial capability. It has also reaffirmed the urgent need for more fighter aircraft for the IAF. The Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, developed and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, manufactured LCA program has come a long way since the first flight of the first prototype on January 4, 2001. Having struggled with India's first major attempt at making a jet fighter, the HF-24 Marut, the LCA's success has brought India into a new league of aerospace manufacturing nations. The multi-role aircraft has great combat potential and is flying with two IAF frontline squadrons. Introduced into service on January 17, 2015, the total numbers delivered to the IAF continue to be just 30. At least 6 to 8 LCA are expected to be delivered by the end of the year. Considering the depleting number of IAF fighter squadrons, the annual rate of production needs to be increased. The Tejas is the smallest and lightest in its class of contemporary supersonic combat aircraft. It was awarded initial operational clearance 1 IOC 1 in January 2011. To ease up the process of final operational clearance FOC and interim IOC 2 was issued to Tejas in December 2013. The AOC-2 expanded the G-limit angle of attack and allowed the aircraft to carry precision guided munitions and close combat missiles. The first squadron consisting of Tejas aircraft in IOC-2 configuration was formed in July 2016. In September 2018, the Tejas successfully completed its mid-air refueling trials required for the aircraft to obtain the FOC that was accorded in 2019. The second Tejas squadron, number 18 Flying Bullets, was formed on May 27, 2020, with the first four FOC aircraft. The aircraft can now perform aerial refueling from Aleutian 278 and buddy refueling with Sukhoi Su-30 MKI. The IAF plans to procure 324 aircraft in all variants, including the Tejas Mark II. As of 2022, indigenous content in the Tejas Mark I is 59.7% by value and 75.5% by number of line replaceable units. The indigenous content will increase in subsequent variants to be developed in future. The Tejas Mark 1A retains the basic Mark 1 airframe but has reduced aircraft weight through the greater use of composites and reduced supersonic drag by using more aerodynamic pylons. On June 20, 2022, the Tejas Mark 1A prototype completed its first flight. It is hoped that the ADA will be able to get Center for Military Airworthiness and Certification CEMILAC operational airworthiness clearance in time before this version enters mass production. The variant is equipped with LM-2052 AESA radar that will later be replaced with indigenous Uttam AESA radar. DRDO Electronics or Radar Development Establishment LRDE, has completed production transfer of technology of Uttam AESA radar to HL. The radar derivatives would be further integrated on Su-30 MKI, Tejas MK-2, and MK. Mark 1A will host the DARE Unified Electronic Warfare Suite, UEWS, and have an externally mounted self-protection jammer, SPJ, for enhanced survivability. There will be an advanced identification, friend of 4 IFF system and a digital map generator. The aircraft will have indigenous onboard oxygen generation system or BOGS, developed by DRDO Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory DEBEL. The expanded weapon suite will include the Astra BV RAM and AS RAM. The production variant will have a dual rack pylon with weapon systems integration. The variant is expected to begin production in 2023-24. As per commitment, delivery of the aircraft to the IAF would start from March 2024. To better accommodate the pilots, the cockpit floor is being reshaped. The technician's access to aircraft systems has been improved and this would also help reduce turnaround time. HAL had already outsourced 25% of the work share to the private sector. Private suppliers of line replaceable units have also increased from 344 to 410 during the Tejas Mark 1A development.
The Tejas Mark II is a single-engine, close-coupled canard delta-wing multi-role medium-weight fighter MWF. The aircraft is larger and heavier 17.5-ton class. Apart from other design changes, the Tejas Mark II will have the more powerful General Electric F414 INS6 engine. It will have an increased payload carrying capacity and have more external hardpoints and will carry more internal fuel. It will also have improved combat range. The aircraft will have few commonalities with Tejas Mark 1A, but will heavily imbibe technologies being developed for Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft AMCA, program. This will include radar cross-section reducing measures so as to allow a degree of frontal stealth. It is also planned to selectively use radar absorbent material coating. Utilizing extra fuselage space, larger twisted air intake ducts have been introduced for GEF 414 INS6 engine. The cockpit is totally redesigned. An infrared search and track asset system is integrated. The aircraft will have a missile approach warning system MOS. It will have an improved AESA radar and night vision goggles compatible glass cockpit. A wide touch sensitive panoramic display screen will dominate the cockpit. There will be a wide angle holographic head up display. The hands on throttle and stick HOTAS arrangement is being retained. The Mark II will have indigenous software defined radio based tactical data link for secure communication and network centric warfare capabilities supported by the IAF, FNET Digital Information Grid. It will feature the indigenous ILSSOBOGS. The Defense Institute of Advanced Technology DIAT, is developing aircraft health and usage monitoring systems HUMS. ADA completed its critical design review on November 15, 2021, with a total of 20 subsystems for the aircraft cleared by the IAF for production. Metal cutting had started earlier in February 2021. HAL had begun work using internal funding. On September 1, 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security CCS cleared 10,000 crore rupees for Tejas Mark II project that includes prototype development and flight testing. High-speed taxi trials will start in early 2023. The first flight of Tejas Mark II is expected to be in late 2023. Limited series production will begin from 2025. The entire development process will be completed by 2027, with full-scale mass production commencing from 2030. The Tejas Mark II should become available for operations from 2028. The fighter is meant to replace the IAFS fleets of the SEPECAT Jaguar, Dassault Mirage 2000 and Mikoyan MiG-29. The IAF will initially have six squadrons that is 120 aircraft, but in the long run, numbers will go up to over 200. From 62% in Tejas Mark 1A, the plan is to touch the 70% in indigenization for the Mark II. The Mark 1 is 13.2 meters long, has a wingspan of 8.2 meters and height of 4.4 meters. The Mark II is longer at 14.60 meters, has larger wingspan of 8.50 meters and taller at 4.86 meters. Interestingly, the Mark II figures are quite close to the Mirage 2000, which is 14.3 meters in overall length, 9.1 meters in wingspan and 5.2 meters in height. The Mark I wing area is 38.4 square meters the same for Mark II as 44 and Mirage 2000 is 41. The Mark I empty weight is 6,560 kg compared to 7,850 kg of the Mark II and 7,500 kg of Mirage 2000. The maximum takeoff weight for Mark I is 13,500 kg and 17,500 kg for Mark II and 17,000 kg for Mirage 2000. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.